Okay, we're good. So, okay, so my partner is currently um, inside right now. He's doing a quick trip into the market, so I figured I probably have some time to sit and share some things um, while I can because it's going to be a very busy week. Um, there are a couple of things that I've noticed since the last time I got on here and shared, and I did want to say thank you to those of you who are uh, very supportive in uh, expressing to me that it's not selfish for me to express what I'm going through, and sometimes it is difficult to like explain what I've learned if I don't talk about myself, the things that I've been through. But what I wanted to share in this video was more so about the time of the year that we're in right now and something that I've just been noticing about the people around me. And so we're technically still in Samhain. Uh, this is the day I'm recording, two days before Yule, the winter solstice. And when you're going through Samhain time, you're entering into the darkest part of your underworld. And we all have our own underworld, our own subconscious, our own hidden things getting real hot, I'm going to take this off, our own hidden things, and my uh, mother had spoken to me sp specifically about um, someone she knew and how they were experiencing a lot of sadness and depression and wondering what was going on with them, and someone else told me that someone was really going through it and having a tough time, and someone else said that they were struggling with this and that, and I was sitting with this, and I was like, well, you know, a lot of this makes sense for the time that we're in right now with Solomon. And recognizing that this time of year, even though we're about to enter into Christmas, holiday, you know, time, really Samhain entering and moving into your underworld right before Yule is about making sure that there is a death of parts of yourself that you no longer want around with you. And so if you want some parts of yourself to no longer be alive or parts of yourself um, that need to be transformed to die and be reborn into something else, then you kind of have to see it in order to like heal it. You have to feel it to heal it, um, as Bami Spirit likes to say. And so I was sitting with the thought about all of the shadow that I was seeing come up for everybody else and then the shadow that I was seeing come up for myself and trying to kind of like figure out a way in which to give advice to specific people without feeling like, hey, I've noticed the shadow. Like, I don't really understand how to maybe necessarily provide insight for others when I see something in their subconscious that they're not aware of. Like, learning how to walk a line of like, yes, I see some things that are probably for you to transform, but I don't know how to bring it up to you without perhaps you getting triggered or feeling like I'm attacking you. So a lot of uh, myself has been kind of like quiet and under the surface right now just like okay well you know what all the best I can say is that this time of year is where everyone's shadow work is coming up everyone's parts of themselves that need to be kind of killed and dead can die so that way when Yule comes and the the, the torch is passed from death back to light and we begin to grow light back on the earth slowly the days are gonna get longer again our light continues to grow that the best way to do that um, typically is by allowing yourself to release a lot of the stuff that you don't need in you anymore and growing and we're supposed to grow through the cycles of the wheel of the year and so I guess just for <laughs> not to talk about me but to talk about me for me specifically a lot has been coming up for me still about learning to speak up for myself learning to speak my truth um, a lot about relationships and like how I feel in relationships a lot about self-worth, self-worth, um, I guess I wouldn't say issues, but like just self-worth in general. And so for me, it's like learning about how I feel in a relationship and partnership and the shadow work I had there based on previous relationships and partnerships, learning to heal that so I can move forward in the relationship I'm in now healed, learning about my self-worth and how I find value in myself and learning that my value is not attached to what I produce, my value isn't attached to how much I can do. My value simply is that I am a value. I'm a value because I am. And learning to like, not just say that, but also like move in that way. And when you know your value and you sit in your value and know like, you know, I just have value because I'm a person. And I don't need to do A, B, and C for you. I don't need to do this, this, and that to feel worthy. When you sit in that, it's easier to express your truth. 
and that's also something I struggle with too is speaking my truth and I don't have trouble speaking my truth because like I feel like my truth isn't valid or like I know what my truth is I just don't always express it to other people and I typically don't express it because it seems like my truth is kind of triggering to other people I guess is my best way to express that like if I shared my truth about things or what I desire it would greatly impact everyone around me and I like have issues with doing that I have issues with my truth affecting other people and I know that's what happens we all of our truths affect people when they express their truths to me it doesn't like necessarily affect me but like I receive it and I decide if I want to integrate it into my own kind of truth or you know what it teaches me about someone else but a lot of times I find for me personally in my life when I try to share my truth or speak my truth it doesn't always get well received and kind of just like a guide of like who understands you and who doesn't but I guess that's also some shadow work for me is like I have this like not trigger but more like trauma about not being understood or people not understanding me or like um, not feeling like anyone really knows me because they can't understand me that's also some kind of trauma too I just think from just everywhere I lived always kind of being on the fray of the personalities of people around me um, but yeah those are some things that I've been noticing. I don't even know if I'm going to really post this, but I know I just needed to talk about what was going on in some way, shape, or form, just getting it out of me. Still really sitting with whether or not um, to really decide, is it worth me staying in a place where I currently am to pay off a debt in a more traditional 3D way, like, okay, I'll just go into this 3D job, work as hard as I can, get enough money to pay off my debts, and then go where I desire to, or go where I desire to, and then earn money to pay off my debts there, and then just send it to the person to who the debt I owe, and figuring out which one is the most responsible, grounded, realistic thing to do based on having a Neptune on my Ascendant, and Saturn in Pisces, about to enter my Saturn return in Pisces so I'm really trying to be like as responsible and adult like as possible um, this might just be like a rough draft video and then I'll speak on all of this again it's something Saturn also has me do is like talk about something and then talk about it again but also what I found really interesting is that for specifically relationships my partner and I had been um, kind of behind on Lower Olympus we hadn't watched it in a while and so then we had like three episodes to read and usually when we read Lore Olympus it's about Hades and Persephone's relationship it's like a modern day telling they're like cartoons it's on webtoons if you want to watch it read it and usually I read in certain voices for the people but he and I had partaken of some cannabis medicine before we started reading and my spirit guides were like just read it in your own voice and see how different you feel so like the episodes that we were reading were about Hades and Persephone speaking to each other about what they wanted from their relationship how they um, wanted to move forward in their sexual connection and how they just literally just speaking on like how they felt and what they desired and being really vulnerable with one another and as I was like reading it the stuff that Persephone was saying because I would read for her and he would read for him as I was reading it in my own voice I started crying and like they were all things that I like wanted to say but didn't know I needed to say or like even knew how to say and began um, so I was like crying I was like oh my god why is this so like like it just activated slash triggered slash you know healed a lot um, for me and I'm still kind of sitting with those episodes because like I'm still integrating that but that brought up a lot for me in terms of like being in a relationship and I'll probably just make a specific relationship about a love relationship especially in terms of like how I always thought a love relationship would be and the things you need to do in order to like actually cultivate a healthy loving relationship so yeah these are things that have been coming up and now it's Christmas time and to me the last thing I wanted to speak on was just like sometimes it's frustrating especially because this year I've had a really hard time trying to figure out a good schedule for me to try and even get a job to like not be needed to do something else at the house or pick up this or do that all these little things that have occurred this year have really been like well there's no way how would I have done this and had a job and then to know Saturn's about to transit my second of like my work my values how I earn money how I can save money 
And to get to this time of year where people typically want, you know, or expecting, not want, they're kind of expecting you to offer them a gift and like me not having really any means in which to do so, um, not having those means doesn't make me feel less valuable, but what kind of frustrates me is sometimes people attach like how much they think you value them to how much you can give them. So it's not like, hey, you gave me this one thing. You gave me, oh, my partner's coming. I'll have to talk about the rest later because we're about to continue our travels. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, I'm back. So now he's outside. Well, he's at, he's in the DAV now. He's looking for some goodies. So, so the struggle I've been having this winter, Christmas time season, is again the value being placed on uh, how much you can give somebody, or like how much you give somebody, they think that's how much you value them, and kind of getting frustrated with that sentiment. But what I'm hoping for is what I plan to do for gifts for people for Christmas. One year I couldn't really afford anything for anyone, so I wrote everyone a letter of one of my favorite memories I have with them. So this year I was like, well, I've already done that. <laughs> what can I do now? And I don't even really know how the idea came up, but I'm going to wire wrap everyone a specific crystal that I felt from the crystals that I already own, because I have a box of crystals and I like barely use a lot of them. I was like, I don't really use any of these. I guess I could look for the ones that seem wrappable and then I sat with each one and then thought about each person and decided which one was best. And I'm not like a professional rapper, but I practiced wrapping one for my uh, husband. And it looked pretty cool. So this winter, I'm making everyone a wire wrapped gift. And I'm just trusting that it's like one thing, you know? I, I feel like maybe this might just be, I don't know if it's an American thing or what kind of thing it is, but sometimes when you just get one thing from someone, then they're kind of like, oh, thank you this is awesome it's beautiful and then you're kind of like for me at least I guess tying into my self-value speaking my truth relationship self-worth that whole thing I've been learning during the shadowy time is like I know my heart I know um, the value that I bring to others I know the place that I hold and I trust and have to surrender that in giving that gift it will be received and I won't have to like have this like what usually happens is like this like inner ang anxious self-talk of like well great now they're gonna think this and they're gonna think that and now they probably think blah 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 and I guess it's more difficult too and like a lot of other shadowy stuff comes up for other people and like it's not being talked about so I feel like maybe we should normalize at this time of year when families are coming together where everyone can be comfortable speaking with one another about like the shadow they see in each other to bring it to light bring it to the surface so it's not subconscious and then be like huh let me sit with that you don't have to say immediately no you're wrong oh yeah you're right sit with it and be like is that a projection that they gave me or is that actually something truthful to the shadow that I'm experiencing. And then the real gift for all of us in the Yule time, the winter solstice time, Christmas, is the gift we receive of letting one part of ourselves be left in this last underworld as we move forward. And so if I'm releasing that as I move into this next year, I don't have to have so much anxiety about, oh my God, are people gonna think that I value them because I can give them A, B, and C? Do I, is, do, am I of value if I can't offer them A, B, and C? No, I'm just valuable. If they don't honor that, then that's not my problem. That's theirs and really sitting in that and holding that, not just saying it, but embodying it. So sitting with that, embodying it, and then moving forward into the next year, it'll allow me to be so much more freely giving because I'm not thinking about the other person's response to my giving. I'm just like, oh, I just wanna give this to you. And then that's it. And I don't have to think, oh, did they think that was enough? And just leaving all of that alone. And then with my relationship sector, like I said, I'll make another video about that and learning like to just value myself and trust that when I give from the heart, those who are receiving from the heart will receive it. And then just keep it moving. As far as the most difficult one for me is definitely speaking my truth. <sighs> it's so hard. Especially like, you know, I can't give you guys all the details. I can give you enough details to say like, imagine like you owe somebody something. You literally do. And then you feel like because you haven't yet paid back what you owe, 
like you feel like you have to do everything you feel like you have like any beck or call you have to be present for to do that and to assist in whatever way possible because you have not yet paid back your debt so like I'm just like at the whim of every just change and shift and need because I had not yet you know done that and that's not a good feeling I don't like that feeling and I've never really wanted to owe anyone and my mom recently told me that there's a section in the bible that says that you know you shall be in debt to no man and I really feel that because it doesn't feel good to be in debt to anyone and I thought to myself if I didn't have any debt to anyone how free I would feel like I was like oh I don't know owe anyone anything when you don't owe anyone anything, you kind of move a little different, you speak a little different, but because I owe someone something, I've been giving everything. So I don't really know what to do about that. That's something I've been sitting with and still learning how to know I currently owe and not feel that I owe everything because of that. It's weird. It's weird. But that's all else I wanted to say. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to be posting this. I might sit and re-record it again. But I've just been trying to get into the habit of, like, speaking more consistently about what's going on. Especially if I'm not writing in my diary every day. And trying to, you know, keep up to date with things I'm learning. And then assist in the current time that is occurring in. Because if I say, hey, these are the things I learned during Samhain moving into Yule. And then I post it, like, a month later. You're like, well... That's awesome, but I totally could have used this information when I was going through mine. So that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, that's all that's really occurring. We're moving now into the end of the year, the holiday season, the winter solstice, about to be 2023. Um, Saturn's going to be changing signs. Pluto's going to be changing signs. Uranus is going to be moving into direct motion, I believe. Oh, there's a spider crossing across the windshield. A lot is changing and shifting. And I'm still very insistent. Like I said, I've been deciding whether or not to stay. Should I stay or should I go stay on the mainland or go to the islands? So we shall see what is going to occur. My phone's falling. <laughs> so that's just going to be my cue to go. So thank you so much for listening. I trust and hope that this has helped you sit with your own stuff during your Samhain time, your underworld time, thinking about things that have been coming up for you and like, do I want to still do that? Do I want to still keep that? Or what can I do to change that? Let me talk about it. Let me sit with it. Let me shift into something else. Because that's what I want to do because I'm tired of repeating the same cycles. I'm tired of not being able to speak my truth. I'm tired of having like blocks in my intimate relationships. I'm tired of feeling like my value is attached to what I can give or do. I'm tired of doing that. I don't want to do that and I don't want to be that kind of person anymore. So I'm grateful for these things coming up during this Samhain time. So I can move into you and be like, I made you this. Here you go. And just not be like, oh my God. And give it and feel good. Be like, hey, so I have plans to do this and speak it and not feel like I owe anyone anything. Actually, I don't have time for that right now. I'm actually going to go do this and not feel bad about it. That is a struggle for me, but I'm going to take the steps to try and to be more responsible and to be more realistic with my plans and goals because they can be very Neptunian, Piscean. So it takes, you know, one step at a time and I'd like to continue to chronicle that. So thank you for listening. If you feel called to speak in the comments with me please do so like share subscribe do all the little things to support the channel i appreciate those things and i will see you in the next one blessed sawin to you and a blessed winter solstice as well peace and love